Hey everyone, I'm Neeti Keswani and you're listening to Content is King, a weekly podcast wherein we analyze latest trends on content marketing, copywriting, email marketing, conversion optimization and also host interviews with the industry experts and much much more. So stay tuned. Presenting like a professional speaker. In this we will cover how to tell your story well. Your voice, your tonality, your executive presence and your body language. Ideally, you want to be able to present your material without reading it, which can sound a bit in unnatural. So you'll be learning your material as you practice. Now, practice gives you a chance to really polish your presentation, so practice, practice, practice and practice some more. You see, you have to focus on sounding comfortable and confident. So work on eliminating or reducing any distracting personal habits. Many speakers also benefit from having a third party listen as they practice. So now if you stand up and follow these steps, you should be good to go. Understand that by changing your stance, you can improve your speech pattern. So now Stand in front of a full length mirror at home or wherever you feel comfortable in your office perhaps but find your lead foot. Put your lead foot slightly in front of the other foot. Keep your arms open and relaxed. Make sure you have space in front and behind you. Speak naturally at an even pace, not too quickly but not too slow either. Now this dance will ensure your voice comes through your body and out into the room. So here are my four top tips for making your presentations more memorable. Stance. Standing correctly is a key part of being able to project your voice. Don't lean on the table when you speak and ensure you maintain a good posture. Now take a few deep full breaths. you feel comfortable your stance should be alert but not stiff relaxed but not sloppy if this position doesn't feel natural for you try repositioning your feet slightly until your body feels in balance but you keep your chest up and your stomach in your head should be erect and your chin up but not uncomfortably so let your arms hang naturally at your sides with your fingers slightly curved you know the idea is to stand straight but not rigid relax your shoulders a little bit before you get onto the stage don't let them droop do not maintain the same position throughout a presentation but when you move from one spot to another perform a gesture or vary your stance but be sure to balance your body once your movement is concluded now you know my next point is about breathing now breathing is an involuntary process we don't have to think about it consciously so don't hold your breath or restrict the airflow as you speak there is no need to work at it at your breathing or manipulate your breathing by pulling it in or pushing it out instead release any light muscles in your throat and abdomen feel your breath and voice as it flows through your throat and maintain an open channel from your center to your lips trust that your intentions will dictate your breathing rhythm now you when you present a speech you're sending out two kinds of messages to your audience your voice transmits a verbal message but but a vast amount of information is being visually conveyed by your appearance your manner your physical behavior so to become an effective speaker you must understand how your body speaks you see you can't stop sending your audience non verbal messages but you can learn to manage and control them the this quote by this famous person ralph waldo emerson who said once 
what you are speaks so loudly that I cannot hear what you say. So when you speak, people are not only looking at your overall body language, they are paying attention to what you are saying. If they are not convinced of your earnestness and your sincerity, they are unlikely to accept your spoken message. Don't hold your hands together like this. It will restrict your voice. Gesture loosely and allow your voice to travel across the space. Try presenting at a pace where the words you speak have time to travel across the space to your listeners. You see, people need time to take words in and relate to them. So don't speak rapidly without breathing. Your listeners will stop listening, I assure you that. Now in your presentation, try talking about one amazing idea. One awesome idea that gets people excited and interested and makes your speech memorable. Try speaking in the moment. No one likes canned speeches, you know. So try to see what is the trend. Try to get your finger on the pulse of what your audience is thinking about and try talking about it. If you are comfortable, try being impulsive about one subject or two as well. Keep it simple. Many speakers try to do too many things. You see, your messages should be straightforward and simple so that they can be remembered. Then only you come across as a leader. Your audiences will feel the truth radar in you when you are speaking. Try speaking about the future in a way that shows optimism. People often like to know about a plan that you can provide as a natural leader. Most importantly, just be authentic. Connect with people on an authentic level. Stay tuned to Content is King podcast because here you will get latest updates on content strategy, marketing, search engine optimization and much, much more. Signing off, this is Neeti Keswani for Content is King podcast.